Have you ever wondered how Kubernetes is deployed? Today, we delve into the process of Kubernetes deployment. But first, let's take a step back. What is Kubernetes anyway? Well, in its simplest form, Kubernetes is an open source platform designed to automate the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. It's like a conductor orchestrating a symphony of containers, ensuring they work together in harmony. Kubernetes has become an industry standard for managing containerized applications, and for good reason. It provides a framework to run distributed systems resiliently, taking care of scaling and failover for your applications, providing deployment patterns, and more. Deploying Kubernetes, however, is not just a one-click operation. It's a multi-step process that requires a careful approach. We'll be taking a deep dive into these steps, demystifying the process, and hopefully making it a little less daunting for you. So, ready to explore the Kubernetes deployment process? Stay tuned. Before we begin, ensure you've met all the prerequisites for Kubernetes deployment. This includes having a Linux system at your disposal. Linux is the preferred environment for Kubernetes due to its inherent compatibility and robustness. Next, you'll need Docker installed on your system. Docker is the platform that Kubernetes uses to manage containerized applications. So, having a working version of Docker is crucial for the Kubernetes deployment process. In addition, having a solid understanding of Docker and Linux commands is beneficial. This knowledge will aid you in troubleshooting and optimizing your Kubernetes deployment. Furthermore, it's essential to familiarize yourself with the Kubernetes commands that will be used in the deployment process. These commands will allow you to interact with and manage your Kubernetes environment effectively. Once you've checked all these prerequisites, a Linux system, Docker installation, proficiency in Docker and Linux commands, and familiarity with Kubernetes commands, you're set to start the Kubernetes deployment. Now, we move to the installation and configuration of Kubernetes. Let's begin by installing the Kubernetes package. This is the heart of the system, the engine that powers our Kubernetes deployment. You will need to install this package on each node that will be part of your cluster. After installing the package, the next step is to start the Kubernetes service, bringing the system to life. This is where the magic starts to happen as Kubernetes begins to manage your containers and microservices. But we're not done just yet. After starting the service, we need to ensure it starts up every time your system boots. This is a crucial step to ensure reliability and availability of your Kubernetes cluster. Next, we dive into setting up the Kubernetes cluster. This is where you get to decide the architecture of your system. Whether you want a simple one-node cluster for a small project or a complex multi-node cluster for an enterprise-level application, Kubernetes has got you covered. Now, with our cluster set up, it's time to add nodes to the cluster. Each node is a worker machine in Kubernetes and adding nodes to the cluster increases its capacity to handle workloads. Be sure to add each node that you installed the Kubernetes package on earlier, and there you have it. You've successfully installed Kubernetes and set up your cluster. You are now ready to start deploying applications and managing workloads with Kubernetes. That's it for installation and configuration. You're halfway through the Kubernetes deployment process. With Kubernetes installed and configured, you're now ready to deploy your first application. Let's start with a simple example, deploying a sample application. This process begins with the creation of a deployment configuration file. This file defines the application's desired state, such as the number of replicas and the container image to use. We'll apply this configuration using the kubectl command. This is the command line interface for running commands against Kubernetes clusters. So type kubectl apply f your deployment.yam. This command instructs Kubernetes to create a deployment as defined in your configuration file. Now let's check the status of our deployment. You can do this by typing kubectl get deployments. This command will list all the deployments you have running in your current context. Updating the application is just as easy. You simply change the configuration file and reapply it with kubectl apply. Kubernetes will then ensure that the deployment 
matches the desired state defined in the updated configuration file. But what if your application suddenly becomes very popular and you need to handle more traffic? Kubernetes has got you covered with its scaling feature. You can scale your application by typing kubectl scale replicas equal sign 3 deployment slash your deployment. This command will increase the number of pods to 3, allowing your application to handle more traffic. Congratulations, you've successfully deployed an application on Kubernetes. Let's quickly recap the steps involved in Kubernetes deployment. First, we met the prerequisites, ensuring our systems were ready for the task. Then, we moved on to installing and configuring Kubernetes, setting up our cluster for optimal performance. Lastly, we deployed an application on Kubernetes, a practical demonstration of its power. These steps are your guide to unlocking the potential of Kubernetes. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you for being here. Keep exploring. Keep learning.